Today I'm here to share my summer sweat proof, kind of waterproof makeup look. And all this product I have been using most of the day in the summer. And they just stay on pretty well. And I just want to share what product I've been using. And hopefully it helps you to find out some new product to try during the summer. And so let's get started. I'm going to mix the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet with the Kiehl's um, BB Cream together. So I just squeeze a little bit of both of them and then mix it together. And then just dot on my face. And then use my Real Technique sponge to blend it out. I love mixing it both together because the Kiehl's BB Cream is a little bit too sheer on its own and then the Makeup Forever is a little bit too matte. So I love mixing it together to have a balance in between so it won't be too matte and it won't be too glowy. And if I have any left, what? I take the sponge and then apply it on my neck. Don't forget to apply it on your neck because you don't want to have like a big contrast on, between your face and your neck. And now I'll take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, the brightening or illuminating one to conceal or brighten my under eye. And then use my sponge to blend it out as well. And then of course I need some more concealer for my face. And today I'm using the NARS Straight and Creamy Concealer. Yes, I have a little breakout from every month. And then we just use my finger to blend it out. I love using the NARS concealer just on my face, not under my eye because it can be a little bit too dry for my under eye area and I don't want to have those dry patches under my eyes but then because it lasts really well on the skin so I love using it on my skin especially during the hot weather it just lasts better so I will let the foundation and the concealer sit for a little bit on my skin. Now I'm going to prime my eyes for the eyeshadow. And I'm using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And now I'm going to use my Urban Decay This Slick Makeup Setting Sprays and spray it all over my face. We make each other better. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Marco Eyebrow Pencil to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm using two color to create more natural eyebrow. I'm not doing anything crazy about the eyebrow. I'm just going to fill in the gaps. Brush for it a little bit so it more it can be more natural. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this palette from Urban Decay, which I got it a while ago. But I really like um this palette, the shade it has in it. I can create a natural kind of look, but at the same time, I can also make it more smoky as well. But today I'm going to go for a more natural kind of look. So I'm going to get the pink, pinkish white color all over my lid. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see it more clear. And using the same brush, I'm going to take the pink color just tap it on my eyelid. I will be the anchor. And I'm going to take bust at a little bit to my crease to create more definition to my eyes. You'll be ten feet tall. Because we have applied um, eyeshadow base, so whatever eyeshadow you're using should last for a good amount of time so it won't smush off or wash off even under the heat or you're sweating a lot. Just curl your eyelashes and apply your favorite mascara. And today I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in Waterproof. Especially during summer, I love using waterproof mascara because it can hold the curls better and then it won't smudge easily. To go a little bit natural, so I'm just going to do one coat of the mascara. After applying mascara, I love to use this kind of comb to brush out a little bit so it will so I can have more defined mascara and won't and take off the excess of mascara. But you have to be careful when you're using this kind of comb, especially because the one I'm using is a metal one. Most of the comb out there is like um 
plastic one so you won't get hurt easily but still it can hurt your eyes and so you have to be careful when you're combing your lashes because it is so close to your eyes so my eyes are done now and now I'm going to set my face I don't like to set my face right away after um, I apply foundation and using the setting spray because let the foundation and the spray sit on my face a little bit longer I think it will last a little bit longer Blonder, I'm going to take an angle brush and apply my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Powder to bronze up my face. I especially like this bronzer because it is waterproof and it has a natural finish, so it gives um, definition on my face, but it won't be too strong. So today I'm using the Manani Powder Blush in tea rolls and for highlighter I'm using the position formula shimmer strips and I'm going to just take a brush and swirl it over mostly the top color because it is lighter and just tap it on my cheekbone I light on my cupid's bone and then on my chin and then my nose under my eyebrow and then last but not least lipstick i'm going to use more lilac pink color so here i'm using the colourpop lipstick in preset the colourpop lipstick is really easy to apply and i feel like it lasts for a long time on my lips and also i will top on some lip gloss from blossom in the color pucker up just a little bit on the center of my lips and this is the final look. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, I will have all the products I have used list in the description box as well. So, I think this is it. And thank you for watching. Until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye! If you're feeling small, so, I wanted to share what they sent me in the box. And maybe do a first impression of the products. Beauty Bee is a beauty subscription box that basically focuses on Asian beauty products. They have makeup or skincare and